just when we think it's dying down and it's almost over. Okay, I don't say this often, y'all know me, but five cent sheen. <laughs> got, gotta come prepared, gotta come correct. Um, this is one of the craziest stories that I think I've ever talked about on the internet. And y'all know your girl. I've been doing this for like six years. And not only have I talked about a lot of crazy stuff, I've been involved in some of the craziness. This story, I literally saw it this morning and I was like, what in the what is happening? Which makes me believe that my intuition is correct. That this situation with Amber Heard is far from over and we're gonna keep hearing about it and craziness is going to keep happening. One of just the reasons alone is the fact that all of these players in this are insane. More so on Amber Heard's side. It's just insanity that never ends. What am I talking about? What is this video about? So if you guys saw the title, first I want to tell you, not that he needs my help at all, go to that, so his name is That Umbrella Guy on YouTube. Go to his channel, watch the video. There is a leaked audio call that Heard's team put out from one of the key star witnesses, oh, it's hilarious, calling to report this YouTuber, that umbrella guy, who's just basically been following the trial and laughing along like everybody else has. And they're trying to say that he's doing all these horrible things and criminal things to, to them and doxing and all this crap that's not true. But when you see the reality of what's happening and even the phone call, it's nuts. This whole thing is nuts and we're going to keep laughing at it. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Katie. I'd love to have you around. We just laugh and have fun at all the silliness of the mainstream news and all the dumb topics that come up. Because as I say every time, we hear nothing about Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeff, and an airplane. We hear nothing about that when they just got sentenced, but this is the stuff we hear about. So we're going to laugh at it. We're just going to laugh at the absurdity and the insanity because it's all dumb, but would love to have you. Also remember guys, giving away a $100 gift card, really, really simple to be entered and eligible. And because my channel is so small, not many people are doing this, you have a good shot. Like the video, subscribe, hit notifications, comment, share the content, watch a video from start to finish, boom, you're entered and eligible. Do it for every video because the more times you do, the more times you're entered. I will announce the winner August 1st. Nobody's doing this, you have a good shot. <laughs> okay, I wanna go ahead and dive into this. So first what I want to do guys, I want to play the audio clip for you, okay? And I'm not like, let's play the audio clip, let's listen together, and then I'm gonna give you all of the details. So the guy, I will say this, the guy who's calling in to report the YouTuber, that umbrella guy, says he's a star key witness for Amber Heard, but nobody really cared about him in the trial, and it just gets more and more crazy. So I'm gonna pull this up, and then we'll go through exactly what this all is. Like, and you guys know me, typically I, I don't, I'm not one of those people that begs you like, oh, stay on the video and do all these things, right? Like I know I have my like gift card giveaway and stuff, right? But I'm not one of those people that begs you for favors and I'm not begging you for a favor right now. I'm telling you, if this is something you enjoy for your entertainment, stick, stick to this video to the end because this is going to get wild and you will be entertained. So let's go ahead and let's play this call. Oh, I didn't mean to call 911. Is there a non-emergency number I could call? Yeah, this is a non-emergency number. Oh, okay. I'm hoping you could help me out. My name is Richie Albertini. I'm calling from Los Angeles. And I'm having a little problem. Um, my, my first question would be, is if I need to file a criminal complaint, do I need to come to Tennessee to do it? I mean, if you're talking harassment, bless, he's like, oh, I'm... S I said not there, but... Oh, I'm... S file a criminal, like criminal complaint. Do I need to come to Tennessee to do it? Um, I'm not sure that it has to be something an officer can help you out with. All right, well, let me kind of tell you what's going on. You've got a local resident there by the name of Matthew Lewis. Uh, that umbrella guy. known as that umbrella guy. <laughs> he, he is witness tampering in a very high profile case, making criminal threats, doxing people, and doing podcasts that are putting people my, uh, I know this might sound like an outrageous phone call. Uh, my name is Richie Albertini. I am a key witness in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Did you? There's many, many dynamics to this. There's many different, uh, many different situations going on. <laughs> but this guy is making criminal threats on a podcast against myself and other
other witnesses. Um, it's kind of late at night. I just found out about this. I'm not able to get a hold of my attorney right now, but we at least wanted to get this on record that this is happening. Do you know the address he's at by any chance? I believe I do. Let me take a look. That'll be redacted, all that info. I can't tell you for sure it's a good address, but I'll tell you what I have. Okay. I'm going to redact something. You guys must have a great town there. You know why? <laughs> when I called the When I first called the police, I got a voicemail saying you guys were closed. Oh, Lord, yeah. It, it transfers over to our, this is the dispatch. Well, I'll be honest with you. The reason uh, I'm going to be traveling and I'm looking for a new place to live because none of us want to stay here in California anymore. <laughs> uh, right. Right. She says, Let me right. see if I can find you the address. Uh, I know I had it. Uh, there's no phone number for the guy. If I call right back, will you answer again? Um, it, it'll be me or another dispatcher, but we'll know what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to... Let me make sure I have his name. He, you did say a William Lewis or No, Mac, Matthew Lewis. Hang on, I know I have his address, and I prefer not to hang okay. on. Okay. Hang on. You called him prepared? How big is your town? Okay. Um, it's actually really small. Because one of the things that I notice is, uh, apparently you guys have had some experience with this guy in the past. Uh, he's a guy who the police have been called on, I guess, numerous times. And he's an internet agitator. <laughs> and he's got some kind of stupid uh, podcast where he's kind of filled with gossip, slander, and nonsense. But what's happened okay. in this particular case is he's interfered, and he's still interfering with ongoing cases. And he's making some pretty substantial... I mean, he's... I'm one of the witnesses. I don't care. I'm a man. If I could say anything, oh. I'm not going to trip out. You are but tripping. Some of the victims that he's attempting to intimidate right now oh, happen to be women. Oh, that's, the, that's the reason I'm giving you a call here. I might have it here. What? Okay, yeah. I can't <laughs> find it right now. I just happen to know his name is uh, Matthew Lewis. He, he went and trademarked himself uh, under the name That Umbrella Guy. <laughs> uh, let me see what else I can have. If you guys could take a look at it and give me a call back, I would love to, to hear what you guys can do to help us. We really, yeah. we, we really need to kind of stop this guy at least until Monday. Stop. Uh, until uh, we can have our return. Oh, I got it. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the last known address that we have you know, I'm not even sure if his name is Lewis Matthew or Matthew Lewis. <laughs> I don't even know Some who he is. Okay. What? He lives here. Okay. All right. Do you know what the name of the podcast is? Uh, it's called That Umbrella Guy. <sighs> that Umbrella Guy? Yes. Okay. All right. And you said that's what he's trademarked his name under? Yes. And he's working... Uh, He's working alongside of another guy from Los Angeles. We'll get him dealt with on our end with the local <laughs> LAPD. But he's working in connection with another guy by the name of Mario, M-A-R-I-O, mm. Natrini, N-I-T-R-I-N-I. -I. Okay. Okay. Now, um, is this a good phone number for you? This so that's redacted. Your phone number. We will have our uh, lieutenant give you a call here in just a few minutes. Um, it should come in as a blocked, restricted, or an unknown number, so just make sure you Not answer a problem. That, okay? I, I answer all my calls. Okay. I bet okay. you do. We'll have him give you a call, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. No problem. Bye now. Okay, guys. I wanted you to try to hear it without anything from me first so you could just get the context of it. There are so many funny things to this. Oh my God. Okay, I'm trying to figure out like, where, like I said, th this video is going to be a little long. It's going to be a little rambly, but stick with me because this is funny. Where the F do I begin? So let me give you first some context. I actually pulled this up. An article was written on this to kind of explain what you're hearing, but I also want to give you guys 
even more juicy details. Like I said, that umbrella guy, go there. I got the audio from him. I edited out his commentary. His commentary, it's gonna, I'm gonna miss stuff and it's really, really funny. So go see his video, right? But I wanna go ahead and kind of break this down for you so you guys understand. So this is from sportskedia.com. What is that? I don't know, but anyways, who is Richard Albertini? Alleged key witness in Johnny Depp trial and that umbrella guy's 911 call drama explained. It says, after Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's defamation trial ended on July 18th, YouTuber That Umbrella Guy revealed that a person named Richard Albertini allegedly harassed him. This isn't the first time that the YouTuber has been harassed by the Aquaman actress's team. In June, following the 36-year-old actress doxed the YouTuber. Yep, she's been a part of doxing. I haven't been able to go, like, guys, there's so much I haven't even talked about with this. I jumped in, well, I've been covering this since, uh, what, end of May on TikTok, but on YouTube, I'm only a couple weeks in. It's just unending. It's unending what has happened, guys. On July 18th, that umbrella guy posted a video to YouTube titled, Shocking Police Audio is Team Amber Heard Call 911 on Me. Share. In the video, the content creator revealed that Richie, sorry, Richard Albertini attempted to file a complaint against him with the police for witness tampering in a very high profile case, making criminal, like you're gonna hurt somebody, doxing people, and doing podcasts that are putting people in serious danger. Hold on, he said it's just gossip and silliness and slander and that the podcast is dumb and now it's serious date. Like, which one is it? Y'all, y'all, I, y'all. That umbrella guy has gained immense traction in recent months ever since he covered the defamation trial against the two actors, which Johnny Depp won through, an, through a unanimous jury vote. Furthermore, the content creator has been vocal about his dislike of Amber Heard. It says, Amber Heard simps posted the 911 call they made trying to harass myself and my family, LOL. Doing that while these idiots false flag threaten and more is the dumbest thing you could ever do. It says, in the video, Richard Albertini recognizes himself as a key witness in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. He added that the YouTuber was making criminal gonna hurt you on a podcast against myself and other witnesses. Didn't happen. That umbrella guy also revealed that Richie Albertini and other members of Amber Heard's team were revealing the address of the YouTuber in an attempt to harass him. This is what we call doxing. However, Heard's team were unaware that they were reporting the wrong residence. <laughs> The YouTuber said that they were reporting the content creator's grandfather's address in reality. <laughs> the alleged key witness, Albertini, also called the YouTube figure an internet agitator and called his podcast stupid and stated it was filled with gossip, slander, and nonsense. But, you know, it's so unsafe, guys. Who is Richard Albertini, the alleged witness who harassed that umbrella guy? This is not the first time Richard Albertini has been called out by internet users for harassing and torturing individuals. A Twitter post revealed that Albertini brutally tormented and mentally hurt his own sick, ailing mother so much that she had to be hospitalized. So this is from that umbrella guy. It says, Amber Heard's pals are threatening to call my managers again. The feds are going to catch, are going to get you. Unlike the mother you tortured, Richard, I'm not an elderly woman. You keep dreaming about Amber's toes. So this is from Richard Albertini. It says, uh, that umbrella guy are a couple of sissy boys. It's fun watching what they have to say. Do they realize there is no Twitter in jail? They will pass the time bending over. No one said they were going to do anything hurtful to them with criminal charges or civil litigation. Criminal charges are already filed and being transferred to West Valley Division on Monday as soon as the civil actions are being filed on Tuesday. <laughs> oh my God. Netizens believe that Richard Albertini was simply used as a distraction by Amber Heard's team. Internet users also found it strange that the alleged witness never testified in court. <laughs> what? YouTuber Film Streak also claimed that Richard Albertini was Johnny Depp's former Viper Room barback, but changed sides in recent years and has alleged that the Edward Scissorhands actor has been physically hurtful towards several people. Albertini appeared in a TikTok video uploaded by TeamHerd.co. In the video, he accused Johnny Depp's alleged hitman, Paul Baresi, 
of attempting to harass him and other witnesses on Amber Heard's side to ensure that they did not speak against the 59 hitman? What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Did I not tell you? Stick with me. This is going to be one of the crazier stories I've ever talked about. Like, how many, how long can this video be? How many avenues do I go down of insanity? It says, as mentioned before, this is not the first time Amber Heard's team has been accused of silencing Johnny Depp supporters. In the past, journalist and Heard's friend Eve Barlow exposed that umbrella guy's real identity, which the YouTuber had intentionally kept hidden. Bot Sentinel CEO Christopher Boozy also got into the internet feud with the content creator for profiting from the defamation trial. And it says, Boozy has worked with Heard's team in the past, however, he claims to no longer work with the actress. Oh, but there's more. So let's go over this because there are several funny things in this phone call. I want to go over and give some of my commentary because I just like, like I said, I told you this was going to be a crazy video. Like I, I have, I have no words. I have no words. So this guy says he was a key witness, didn't actually testify, but we know is on Amber Heard's side. He, all right, let's, let's, let's go through this again. Wait, if I can get my volume up. Here we go. Okay. My battery's doing that thing again, so I have to unplug it. <laughs> so I turned my sound off. All right, let's go through this again because I want to point out some really funny stuff. We're getting 911. Oh, I didn't mean to call 911. Is there a non emergency number I could call? Oh, okay. I'm hoping you can help me out. My name is Richie Albertini. I'm calling from Los Angeles, and I'm having a little problem. Um, my, my first question would be, is if I need to crack, file a criminal complaint, do I need to come to Tennessee to do it? Okay, so guys, first of all, in this audio, he talks about, well, you guys have had issues with this guy in the past, the police, which basically, he ends up outing the fact that they have been falsely reporting this guy, right? Now, so that means he's already been reporting, most likely, most likely, right, allegedly, that umbrella guy. He says, to file a complaint, a criminal complaint, do I have to come out there? Well, obviously not. No, of course not. You just call. You just call and you can file. The, that's what anybody does. I've had to do this in different situations. So it's just funny when, he, when he's asking. It's like, why are you even asking, especially when you've outed that you've already done this before? Um, I'm not sure that it has to be something an officer can help you out with. All right, let me kind of tell you what's going on. You've got a local resident there by the name of Matthew Lewis. Uh, he's also known as that umbrella guy. He, he is witness tampering in a very high profile case, making criminal threats, doxing people, and doing podcasts that are putting people in serious danger. Putting people in serious harm's way, yet it's a stupid little podcast of just gossip and slander. Which one is it? My, uh, I know this might sound like an outrageous phone call. It is. Uh, my name is Richie Albertini. I am a key witness in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. But Did you? You uh, didn't testify. There's many, many dynamics to this. There's many different, uh, many different situations going on. But this guy is making criminal threats on a podcast against myself and other what? witnesses. What? What threats? What? Um, it's kind of late at night. I just found out about this. I'm not able to get a hold of my attorney right now. No, your attorney doesn't. We at least wanted to get this on record that this is happening. So he's basically calling. He says, but that's the thing. You want to get criminal charges, but you want to get it on record. So, okay, so you're calling just to make a police report because it is late at night. I'm, and I'm saying that because I'm trying to be fair. Okay, that's fine. But it's just, there's too, it's just too much. This is too much. Ah! Hold on, start in the wrong place. Okay. But we no, at least OBS. wanted to get this on record that this is happening. Okay. Hard. Do you know the address he's at by any chance? I believe I do. Let me this take is the over. best part. When you are going to make a phone call to, you know, the, the, the police or dispatch or anything, when you're going to do that, wouldn't you think you'd have the info ready to report and you're not going to have to spend five minutes searching? Like, I can understand if maybe it's a situation where somebody did something you know, to you and like you're in the car and you're trying to find all your stuff, right? But it's just like, you know you're gonna need this info. Uh, Why did you not have it ready? I can't tell you for sure it's a good address, but I'll tell you. I can't tell you for sure if it's a good address. And you guys heard, it's not even the right address. They keep reporting 
his grandfather's address. So they keep harassing this older gentleman. See what I have. Ah! You guys must have a great town there, you know what? This is where it gets creepy, too. And that umbrella guy points this out. And I, when I heard this, I was like, what is... He's talking about, you guys have a great town. Well, part of this is that I want to move there. You want to move to the town of the guy that you are saying is making all of these statements that he's going to hurt you and saying that he's unsafe to you and other people. And you want to move to his town. All right. Why? <laughs> when I called the, when I first called the police, I got a voicemail saying you guys were closed. That's small town. Oh, Lord, yeah. It, it transfers over to our... It's a small town, that's why. Back. Well, I'll be honest with you. The reason uh, I'm going to be traveling and I'm looking for a new place to live because none of us want to stay here in California anymore. You know what, to me, I'll be honest. This sounds like, and we'll get into this, I feel like he's trying to build some sort of false or faux rapport with this woman. He is trying to lay on some charm. And that's the thing is like, okay, so I'm from the Midwest, right? In the Midwest and the South, we are, especially our females, the way that we come across, we can be very, very charming, right? So like with me, and people give me flack for this on YouTube, which I think is funny. Like I call people sugar, hun, darling, sweet pea, right? I have a lot of pet names. That is literally, that's just a cultural colloquialism about where I am from, right? On top of that, your girl has all kinds of health and memory issues. So I don't remember a lot of people's names. So everybody's hun, hun, sweet pea, right? Sugar. And, and that's just part of, of the culture of where I come from. But, and, and the females in general, we, we are very, we come across very, very sweet, right? And a lot of it is too, a lot of people don't know this, like with the Midwest and the South, a lot of times the, the reason that like how that culture came to be is that in those small towns and small areas, many times you're related to a lot of the people around you. So it ends up being a very familiar, a fam familial type of situation. And that's what happens with some of the language and how it comes about. But the reason I'm saying this is, to me, it sounds like he's kind of trying to mack on her a little bit. I, look, and I'm not, I could be wrong. But I, I go with my gut and my intuition because I'm, my gut typically doesn't read me wrong. And I'm just listening to this and just the way he's coming across. Like, like for instance, the beginning. Well, do I need to come out there to file the complaint? He knows he doesn't. Why are you talking about coming out there? Now you're talking about what's your town like? Well, I kind of want to move out there. Like, is it just me? Is anybody else picking up this vibe? Just sound up. Let me know if it's just me. Maybe it is. <laughs> Uh, understandable, yeah. Right, she says. Let right. me see if I can find you the address. Hang on, I know I had it. Uh, there's no phone number for the guy. If I call right back, will you answer again? There! Boom! One. Boom! Okay, sorry, my OBS is doing stuff. I think it's my bracelet. Let me take off my five cent sheen. Okay, if I call right back, will you answer? Am I reading too much into it? Or again, is he just... Is he really enjoying talking this female? Uh, understandable. Yeah. Right, she says. Well, come on. Okay. Hang on. Because one of the things that I noticed... Okay. Hang on. How big is your town? Um, it's like... More. Uh, understandable. Yeah. Right, she says. Let me see if I can find you the address. Hang on. I know I have it. Uh, there's no phone number for the guy. If I call right back, will you answer again? Um, it, it'll be me or another dispatcher, but we'll know what's going on. Okay, um, I'm going to... Let me make sure I have his name. He, you did say a William Lewis. No, Mac, Matthew he Lewis. Didn't care. Hang on, I know I have his address, and I prefer not to hang okay. I prefer to talk to you okay. specifically. Hang on. You. How big is your town? Quit! Um, it's actually really small. Because one of the things that I noticed <sighs> is uh, apparently you guys have had some experience with this guy in the past. Uh, oh, okay. He's a guy who the police have been called on, I guess, numerous times. Really? So have you outed yourself that you're the one calling? Did you out it? Is that what this is? He's an internet agitator. Agitator. And agitator. he's got some kind of stupid uh, podcast. Where Stupid he's unsafe. kind of filled with gossip, slander, and nonsense. Unsafe. What nonsense. happened in this particular case is he interfered, and he's still interfering with ongoing cases. Interfered or he called out BS and lies from Amber Heard? But that's not interfering. That's just having, it's called commentary. 
People get to commentate on things. Amber Heard wants to protect freedom of speech and First Amendment. Well, it goes both ways. So she says. And he's making some pretty substantial... I mean, he's... I'm one of the witnesses. I don't care. I'm a man. Okay? I won the... I'm one of the witnesses. Where was he? I'm a man. I don't care. So again, to me, this sounds like he's half Mac and Honor, and then he now needs to stone up. I'm a man. Best part. He can say anything he wants to say about me or to me. Not. He can say anything he wants to about me or to me. Not gonna trip out. You are but tripping. Some out. of the victims he's that he's attempting to intimidate right now happen to be women. So he needs, so he's, he's the ultimate protector, the manly man of women. He hasn't once said any of the women that are being harmed by this whatsoever. I just, this is so funny. Oh, God. That's, that's the reason I'm giving you a call here. It's not because be I'm here. concerned. I'm, I'm concerned for the okay? Would, what, would they be able to find it? Okay, yeah. I can't find it right now. I just happen to know his name is... Uh, Matthew Lewis, he he went and trademarked himself uh, under the name That Umbrella Guy. Uh, let me see what else I can have. If you guys could take a look at it and give me a call back, I would love to, to hear what you guys yeah. can do to help us. We really, huh, yeah. we, we really need to kind of stop this guy at least until Monday. Stop him from doing what? You haven't, he hasn't once said what this guy is actually doing and why is Monday important? What? Uh, and so Y'all. We can have Y'all. Oh, I got it. I like it. Go ahead. Uh, the last known address that we have, you know, I'm not even sure if his name is Lewis Matthew or Matthew Lewis. <laughs> Hold on. You don't have his phone number, you have the wrong address, and you don't know what his actual name is. And you haven't actually said given anything specific about what he's done. He's doing all this harm and it's unsafe, but it's a stupid podcast. You're not concerned at all, but we have to stop him. You're trying to protect the women. You don't say who they are and what's happened, but you're a man. And you're macking on the girl. <laughs> I don't even know who he is. He lives Okay. All right. Do you know what the name of the podcast is? Uh, it's called That Umbrella Guy. Y'all. That Umbrella Guy? Yes. Okay. And you said that's what he's trademarked his name under? Yes, and he's working uh, He's working alongside of another guy from Los Angeles. We'll get him dealt with on our end with the local LAPD. But he's working in connection with another guy by the name of Mario. So they're dragging somebody else in. Natrini. N-I-T. So now they're going all conspiracy theory on this. I'll have to go into this in a later video, but basically I believe this was somebody that he had on the podcast to talk about what was going on, and now there's this big conspiracy. This guy's trying to act like they're working together. Our I and I. This is so crazy. Okay. I'll tell you, this is like a guy who's gotten a little bit of attention from Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in some obscure way. This is probably somebody who's really never... This is just my assumption. Never had much tension in his life, right? Probably doesn't get a lot of female attention. Probably doesn't get a lot of female attention either. So in general, this guy doesn't get much attention at all. This is the only thing he's ever had anything happen with, with his whole life, right? <laughs> and it's just so silly. It's so silly. And he's just so excited to be a part of something, of just anything, right? I'm sorry, this the whole thing, it's just, this is what it reads to me, and this reads as a desperate guy, half trying to hit on this dispatcher. Okay, now, um, is this a good phone number for you? Y'all, I can't. We will have our uh, lieutenant give you a call here in just a few minutes. Um, it should come in as a... And he's like, I answer all my calls. Well, of course you do. A lot of people are calling you. Well, that's fine. Not a lot of people call me at this point in my life. But, uh... <laughs> Alright, guys. I told you this was going to be long, but this was going to be a fun one. I'm going to keep you up to date on this, because this isn't the first time the Umbrella Guy has been messed with. Probably not going to be the last time, but to me this begs the question, how many other YouTubers are going to be on after? Am I next? Here's the thing, though. I'm small, nobody cares about me. Nothing's get like, that's not gonna be the case, right? I, my ego is not that big to be like, oh, I'm a big deal, somebody, but I think something's I'm not, not at all. 
but I am curious to see where this goes and how stupid this gets. And again, go to that umbrella guy because the commentary is absolutely hilarious. All right, and that umbrella guy has been saying that he uh, he actually wants to do something about all this. Like that, you know, cr like he could actually criminally, civilly, he could do something. Now, Willie, who knows? A lot of YouTubers are talk, and I'm not saying that's the case with him. I don't really know much about him. I've seen some of his videos from some of this coverage. It's been funny. I've get along with him, but we'll have to see. But uh, if you like this video and you want to be a, a part of getting along with stuff, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Love to have you. Also, the $100 gift card giveaway. Like the video, subscribe, hit notifications, comment, share the content. You've already gotten to the end of this. I'm going to end it. All right, guys. Take care. <laughs> lots of love, lots of blessings. Till the next video. Giving everybody hugs, kisses, stay safe. And as always, I will see you soon. <laughs>